Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Once you have opened a company file within Sage 50, you can click the buttons within the navigation bar that display the names of the various navigation centers to then display the selected navigation center content to the right. Note that the Business Status Navigation Center is only available if you're using Sage 50 Complete Accounting. In other versions of Sage 50, you will have access to Customers and Sales, Vendors and Purchases, Inventory and Services, Employees and Payroll, Banking, and the System Navigation Centers. At the top of any navigation center, you'll see a small navigation center toolbar that allows you to perform some standard tasks related to navigation centers within Sage 50. First, you can choose which of the navigation center pages you want to display by default when you open the current Sage 50 company file. To do this, just open the navigation center that you want to set as the default navigation center page. Then click the button that says Make this the default page within the toolbar at the top of the Navigation Center. The display on the button will then change to display This is the default page once it has been set. You can also show or hide the content of each Navigation Center by clicking the leftmost button at the end of the Navigation Center's toolbar. This is a toggle button that will read either Show or Hide. You can click it to toggle the display of the content within that navigation center on or off. You may also notice a slight pause when you click on the name of a navigation center shown within the navigation bar. This is because when you open a navigation center, Sage 50 refreshes the data that's shown in order to reflect any changes since the data was last displayed. You can also manually force a refresh of the data within a navigation center by simply clicking the refresh button that appears in the navigation center toolbar at the top of the window. You can change the system date by using the navigation center toolbar as well. The system date is a very important date in Sage 50. This is the default date for any transactions that you enter within the currently selected accounting period. If you select a system date that falls outside of your currently selected accounting period, then all transactions that you enter will have a default date value of the first date within the selected accounting period, ignoring the system date altogether. You can set the system date by simply clicking the System Date button that appears in the Navigation Center toolbar. Then, in the Change System Date dialog box that appears, you can set the date that you want to choose for your system date by clicking the small calendar selector at the right end of the displayed date, and then selecting a date from the calendar dropdown. When you set the desired system date, you can then click the OK button to confirm your selection. You can also select the accounting period for data entry by clicking the Period button within the Navigation Center toolbar. In the Change Accounting Period dialog box that then appears, you can select the accounting period for which you want to perform data entry from the list displayed. Then click the OK button to set the selected accounting period. Within each Navigation Center, you will have related tasks that you can perform by clicking the buttons that are available and then choosing a command to perform from the resultant drop-down menu if necessary. This replicates the functionality of the commands in the menu bar using a graphic interface. You can also view the relationship between items within Sage 50 by examining the graphic interface. For new users, this can assist you in performing tasks in the correct order. So for example, within the Customers and Sales Navigation Center, you can see that you should set up customers, jobs, and sales taxes before you start creating quotes, sales orders, and invoices. Now in addition to tasks, you can also view associated lists of information and recent reports within all of the navigation centers. If you're using Sage 50 Complete Accounting, 
You can also view and print various company reports within the Business Status Navigation Center. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.